Keep asking. Be persistent, brothers and sisters. Whatever you do, keep asking. You may think it is not working, but it is working. What am I talking about? I'm talking about prayer. Keep praying. Sometimes you may be in prayer and you feel like you do not have the strength to carry on. You may feel even sleepy. You may feel like you want to go back and sleep. But do not sleep. Keep praying. Sometimes I know it is, seems like as though it is tiring. Especially when you are praying for a, a particular thing over and over again. And you are not seeing results. Brothers and sisters, go back to the word. Read the word. And do according to what the world says. Continue doing according to the word. And that which you have been crying out for, you will receive it. Look at Hannah, who was buried. Probably for many years, she had cried out to God. In fact, she was even mocked by Penina. While Penina had children, Hannah was buried. But that did not stop Hannah. Notice that Hannah did not go back and also mock Penina. While Penina mocked her, Hannah went to the Lord in prayer. She knew where the battle is. She did not turn her rage on Penina. She went and cried out to the Lord. She went and cried out to the Lord. And when God answered Hannah's prayer, Scripture says that Hannah had birth and she uh, gave birth to Samuel. Samuel was a prophet, a prophet that anointed kings, a prophet that even none of his words fell to the ground. A prophet that was beneficial to the nation. He was a prophet to nations. So notice that your breakthrough will benefit those around you because Hannah's prayer and breakthrough was beneficial to the nation of Israel because out of Hannah came a prophet, Samuel. And Samuel anointed kings. So brothers and sisters, I have come to encourage you. Though it does not make sense, keep praying. The prayer works. It works. And one thing that I've encouraged people is that when you are praying, do not pray out of your own understanding. Do not use your own wisdom. Pray according to the word. Speak the word of God while you are praying. And your prayer, brothers and sisters, will work. Today's word is in the book of Luke 11, 5 to 10. Luke 11, 5 to 10. And it reads, and he said to them, which one, which, which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, do not trouble me. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I say to you, though he will not rise and give to, you, to him because he, has, because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I say to you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Glory to God. Scriptures talks about where if, uh, it, it, in other words, it's talking about asking and receiving. Asking, ask. And, and you shall receive, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Now, the scripture says, 
Which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three logs, for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey, and I have nothing set before him. You know, and when you read uh, the scripture, it says that even though the friend is not willing to give you what you're asking for, in other words, but because you are friends to him, because you are friends, and because you have been persistent and knocking at his door, he'll wake up and give you what you need. It's the same thing that applies to God. But in the case of God, he is willing. He is willing to make you well. He is not like uh, uh, what humans, he's not like what man does. It is not what, is it, his relationship is not like the relationship of just a uh, mere friend. For him is willing, he is ready to give you what, you what you ask. So he says, if you can ask anything in his name, he shall give it to you. Anything, he will give it to you. So, why is it that people have not received their breakthrough? Probably it be they ask amiss. It could be also their intentions are wrong. It could also be the way which they ask. How they ask something. It is very important to know the way, right way. And who are you asking? Now the scripture says, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. A lot of people just end at asking. Yes, you have asked, but have you sought? Because the scripture says, after asking, they, you have to seek, 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 and you will find. How many times have you sought after God through scripture? How many times through prayer? And the scripture says, and knock, and it will be open to you. Some of you have doors that are closed. People have locked you out. People have said you are not good enough. People have said you are not capable. People have said you will never make it in life. But the scripture says, knock, and it will be open to you. Remember, the spiritual controls the physical. If you can, receive, if you can, if you can control the, the, the spirit realm, you have power over the, over the physical. It first becomes spiritual because, before it becomes physical. So if there are doors that are locked in the spiritual, they will be locked in the physical. But if you can open up the doors in the physical, in the spiritual, you have the power, you have the keys to open up in the, in the physical. So ask, knock the door, and it will be open to your brothers and sisters. If you really read at the aspect of the, uh, what the word is, the word is Jesus. Jesus is the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. So the word is Jesus. It dwelt among us. So he will never do anything outside his word. It is always within his word. If you want God to do something for you, it has to be in his word. Well, I have come to the end of this message. I one thing that I would like you to do is share this message with somebody else. Like this message and leave your comments. Now until next time, Shalom.